look at these nubs. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Look at. I'm not playing. Should I cut that part out? I don't think so. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning into a brand new story time. So, a um, couple things before we get into the story. Um, as you probably just seen, because I don't think I'm going to cut that part out. I have receipts and I had to make notes because... This trip, like I know I told y'all I'm not going on no more group trips, but mind you, this was before, this was before, um, this was before Puerto Rico, but after the Bachelorette trip, but after Puerto Rico, I'm not going on no more group trips unless it's with my family, but I'm not playing. I really like made these notes so y'all can know I'm for real. And, um, second thing is y'all. Yeah, I really have to work on not cussing because your girl last video got demonetized and I don't even play like that. So I need to hold myself accountable and not cuss so much because I need my coin. So, but I guess in my last video I was saying like SMD like 20 times. So I get it, but I'm going to work on it. I'm going to try not to cuss as much. I can't promise I'm not gonna cuss at all because sometimes I feel like when you telling a story like the cuss words just add like a little bit of flavor to it you know so, somebody understand what I'm saying but anyways and last thing um yes I know I got this wig on don't do too much if you follow my Instagram you know I will slap this wig on stop playing with me and if I take this little this little piece off right here y'all gonna see exactly why Lo don't never have on no wigs don't do too much not too much on me though Cause it's, 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 it's still you, I don't care. We family. Y'all lucky I didn't come on this bitch. Ooh. Y'all lucky I didn't come on here with a bonnet on. Okay. So not too much, not too much. Just stay for the story and not for the wig. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it y'all. So as you see by the title, this is about the time. I went to Vegas and a lot of stuff was happening, y'all. A lot of stuff was happening. So, the two main people that I'm going to be talking about in this story. One we're going to name Brett and one we're going to name Chad. Furthest thing from their real names. I should use their real names, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I put it in my notes. Try not to cut so much so you don't get demonetized. So, yes, please. Um... And also, some of the people that, you know, were in my wedding and went to Puerto Rico um, with us were on this trip as well. Including the guy who um, left the Airbnb early, like took his rental car, his girlfriend dipped. He was on the trip. Um, my other unproblematic brother who just, he just be one with the flow. This man so chill. He really do not be with none of the drama, none of the problems, nothing. He was on the trip and apple was not on the trip okay so supposedly this started off as like a guy's trip to vegas but me and Devin had already said we wanted to go to vegas together so he wanted me to go and one neither one of us thought that this was an issue because like i told y'all before when i was talking about um Dar oh daryl was on a trip too y'all daryl was on a trip too daryl was on a trip Unproblematic brother was on a trip. Dude who left the Airbnb early in Puerto Rico was on a trip. Brett, Chad, me, Dev, two other people that don't need names. Um, but this was supposed to be a guy's trip and um, I went and it was never an issue because we had been going on trips, going out together and I'm the only girl for years. It's not like I'm going to get in y'all business. I don't cock block. I don't irritate you. I don't do nothing. I'm just vibing. I'm doing my own thing. If anything, y'all, when we go out and I'm the only girl, I be bringing it. Is that okay? Say? I be bringing girls to them. Like, girls will approach me like, who is that? Oh, yeah. He thinks you're cute. You know, like, I it's, don't, don't do that. So... I felt like, because it was Brett's birthday, 
I feel like he kind of like felt a type of way but I'm just like if that's the case if you want to just do something like on your actual birthday like have a dinner or something that's cool we can just make this a trip just me and Deb no issue it's really not that big of a deal so let me look through my notes because hold on um okay first thing that happened that was like about to irritate me they almost three okay so six of us flew out of the same airport and then three people flew from different parts of the world um me dev and brother who's unproblematic we all made our flight on time daryl brett and chad literally was the last ones to step foot on the plane like you know whenever everybody's already seated you know put all your stuff in an overhead bag and just chilling waiting for takeoff and they still have them couple minutes with like people like coming in that was literally the last three people to come on the flight and they closed the door behind them it was so awkward i'm just like y'all literally almost missed y'all's trip so that was fine we left um here at probably like i think it was like 6 a.m or something and um, I don't remember exactly what time we got to Vegas because, you know, it's like a three, it's a three hour time difference. Yeah, like a three hour time difference. I know it was still morning time in Vegas when we got there because when we got there, we were like, okay, we're going to go find a restaurant to go get breakfast, right? <clears throat> so we get there, we get there, we're walking um, to find baggage claim and it's me and Bay walking, then it's Unproblematic Brother behind us, and then it's Brett, Daryl, and Chad behind him. We're walking. Y'all, if y'all ever been to Vegas, y'all know Vegas Airport is huge. It got plenty, like, little slot machines. It's really pretty. It's really big, though. So, we're trying to find where to go for our baggage claim from our flight. So, we're walking, and we get to baggage claim, and we walk past this girl. Mind you, I'm not paying attention to this girl because I don't know you as a stranger. Like, I... But I heard her say like ask people do they have um iphone chargers and again i'm not paying attention because one i don't know you and two i don't know you like yeah i got an iphone charger but i don't know you so i'm not gonna let you use my charger so i'm just minding my business like do 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 waiting for the bags to come me and dev talking me and unproblematic brother talking like do 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 and then i see oh my gosh i'm gonna say his real name i see chad go over to the girl pause right here Chad has a girlfriend, a long time girlfriend that all of us know about. Every single person on this trip knows Chad has a girlfriend. I've met Chad's girlfriend. Brett and Chad have been best friends for a very like years and years and years. They've been best friends. So has Brett and Chad and Chad's girlfriend. Okay, like they call each other brother sister. Okay, everybody knows he has a girlfriend okay let's resume so chad walks over to this girl and i don't know what he's saying but i'm nosy so now i'm tuned in i was minding my business before when she was just asking people and like not talking to us but now that i see that this man who has a girlfriend is walking over to this girl being friendly now i'm nosy so i couldn't really like hear what they were saying all i know is we got our bags everybody got their bags and all of a sudden shorty starts gathering her stuff and she gets up and she's walking out of the door with Chad so automatically I look at Devin and Devin looks at me he's like nope because Devin already know like babe what nope, nope that's not our business that's not our business we're not here for that no no we're not doing that and I'm just like, I'm finna get to the bottom of this because we just got to Vegas. We just got, like, we weren't even in this city for 20 minutes. We just got here. I had a bad feeling. Y'all know what I'm already about to say. Also, YouTube, I'm not naked. I know it may look like it if I scratch, scrunch down a little bit. I'm not naked. Please, please, please stop playing with me. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, I'm... I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay, so what happened after that? Okay, so we left the airport and um oh by the way, we were gonna get two rental cars because it was like eight or nine people. I can't remember exactly how many, but it was too many people for rental cars that we had at the moment, and we ended up getting our own rental anyways, just because number one, two rentals was not gonna hold like eight or nine people like comfortably or whatever. I mean eight people, yeah, but I think it was nine people actually. 
um, or whatever. So we ended up getting our own rental. And plus, some of the guys in the group wanted to like rent out luxury like foreign cars to impress females that you're never going to see again. I don't know. You do what you want with your money. But they wanted to get like one of them got a Lambo. One of them got a Porsche. Somebody else got something. It was like really it's like we're only here for like five days, six days. And you spend it all the do what you want with your money, but it just, it, it couldn't be me. So anyways, um, with the amount of people that was there when we first got there, because remember I told y'all three people was not there yet, two cars was fine. So it was us plus Shorty. So me and Deb and Unproblematic Brother and Brett is in one car, and then Daryl, Shorty, and Chad is in another car. So we're trying to find... Um, a place to eat for breakfast I'm googling places and I found a place and we were gonna go get lit can I can I say that I'm over 21 disclaimer do not drink if you are under 21 I, I could say alcohol I could say lick okay I'm paranoid y'all because I do not want to get my size anyways okay so yeah we go we we're gonna go get something to eat and then we were gonna go to the liquor store after and get some bottles and then go to the hotel so I'm like, okay, maybe he's just taking her to where she needs to go. No. We get to the restaurant. She's with us in the restaurant. We leave from the restaurant, go to the liquor store next door. She's walking with us to the liquor store. So, Deb is just like, no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. That's not my homeboy. Because Devin was not close with Chad, for real. He was more so close with Brett. And that was just Brett's best friend. He was just like, I don't know. Listen, I don't even know him like that. Like, nope, 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 nope. So, I'm just like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Because, granted, I didn't know Chad like that either. And I didn't know his girlfriend like that. I only had met Shorty one time. But... I would want somebody to tell me if my guy was in Vegas picking up girls when he just got here and she's just like hanging with the guys. Like, I would want to know that. But honestly, y'all, I was just very conflicted because he wasn't like flat out doing anything in my face. But just, it's just like, the like, why are you even picking up this girl, taking her with you, whatever. But... Keep listening to the story. You're going to see it gets much, much worse. But I was going to say, last time I told a girl that her boyfriend was cheating on her and I have receipts, the girl cussed me out and she blocked me. So after that, I was just like, it's none of my business. It's none of my business. So um, what happened after that? Told y'all about the rental. We went to the restaurant. Um, nothing really happened that first day. We went to the hotel. We checked into the hotel. Um, we changed. We went down to the casino. We was watching people play. This was before I even got on like any machines, played any games or nothing. We were just watching people. Um, we walked the strip. We went to Wet Willie's. We got food. And um, mind you, this was in 2020 when the Panini Express just started. And, like, it was, like, a mass mandate and all of that. No clubs were open. Like, nothing was open. I don't even know why we went when we went, but we did. And um, it wasn't much to do. Like, only walk the strip. So, that's what we did. We walked the strip up and down a few times. Um, nothing was really going on. We went back to Wet Willie's. We was just drunk walking the strip, and it's hot, and I'm irritated. Please. So, I'm going to put up a picture. Um... Let me see. Was this the next day? No, this was this was the same day. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so the next day we wake up. Me and Dev had a room. That's not important. I, the important part is Chad and Brett were sharing a room. Okay, Chad and Brett had a room together. Okay, so ring, ring, ring. Somebody called Devin like, hey, we finna take shots, come to the room, and then we gonna go out and walk the street. So, you had me at shots of tequila. I'm on my way, babe. I'm on my way. Oh, and uh, keep in mind, um, I forgot to say the day before, like that night. So, Shorty was with us, like, up until we got to the hotel. When we changed and, like, went to the casino and walked the strip and went to Wet Willis and all of that, she was not with us. So, I'm just like, oh, okay, maybe he was just being a good Samaritan. And he told her, like, oh, if you don't have a ride, if you don't have a car charger, like, whatever, I can take you to wherever you need to go. Still, I don't like it because don't do that but 
I'm just like, okay, y'all. I knock, 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 knock at the door to Brett and Chad room. Somebody open the door. Why do I see Shorty sitting in Chad's bed? She in a whole new clothes. She got a new hairstyle. Her, I would never forget this. Her dark green suitcase was spread open. Clothes scattered everywhere. She got her makeup bag in the bed. It smelled like perfume. Like she was just getting ready in here. Like the the um, bathroom was open. Like somebody had just came out of the shower. I see like her hair stuff in there. Like she got ready in this room. She took a shower and she got ready in this room. Again, y'all already know what I'm finna say. Who did I look at? Devin. Devin's like, nope. Nope. Nope, we not doing that. We not doing that, babe. No. No. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. He is really cheating on this girl. And I'm just here witness witnessing it. Everybody is looking at it. Nobody is saying anything. And I don't know what to do, y'all. So, uh, oh, I'm gonna call the girl Rose so I can stop saying shorty. Brett, I mean Chad and Rose, y'all. I'm so bad at fake names. I just want to say the people real names so I don't get confused. Chad and Rose. And Brett is the best friend. Cool. So we walk in a room. Cause I'm stunned. I'm just I I what? She's like, hey y'all. I'm having one of those moments. I'm having one of those moments. I'm having one of first of all. Don't speak to my man. Because I don't know if she knew that Chad had a girlfriend. Which she probably did not know at all. Because that's what niggas do when they cheat. They single all of a sudden when you go to Vegas. But I knew. So that's how I was treating her. Like she knew as well. Okay. I just. Don't, don't speak to me. Because, again, I don't know Chad's girlfriend like that, but I slick felt like I had to be loyal to her because, oh my gosh. So, I'm just like, I'm not drunk enough for this, y'all. I take three shots of tequila back to back to back. Like, I'm not lit enough for this. I don't want to deal with this. Like, no. So, I, I want to feel good. So, I took them shots back to back and I'm just like, I hope she don't try to talk to me because I'm not mean, but... It's just a weird situation to be in. Like, I don't want to kick it with you. And he got a girlfriend and he just met you. And just it was just a lot. So, let me see. I'm going to put another picture up of the next day. Um, of this day. And please don't ask me why I um, have this black jumpsuit romper situation on in Vegas. I don't know. I don't know. And that is just what it was. Like, it was cute at the time. And I didn't know that it was going to be hot as the devil's ass crack in Vegas. I didn't know that. And I just packed it. And it was cute. And I was hot. But let me live, please. So, what happened after that? We walked the strip again. Um, like I said, it's nothing going on. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I had this long, like, curly extension ponytail. It's, I'm hot, okay? And if you know me in real life, you know I get very irritated and annoyed when I'm hot, please. So, we're walking, and Brett just has this, um, no, Chad just has this great idea to go to this resort. Um, they was having a pool party, and it was like a live DJ pool party, drinks, little food. I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds like a vibe, like we should go. So we go back to our hotel. We change into like our swimsuits and stuff. And then we walk to the resort. So if you've been to Vegas, you know, you can like walk through hotels, walk through casinos, like it's just all connected. So I think we walked the strip but inside like from hotel to hotel because it's like little bridges connecting everything so we did it like that so we walk to the hotel we get there y'all we get there and why so it, like it's strict first of all like they got security guards like it's hella staff like they're like you cannot get into this pool party unless you stay at the resort 
So I'm just like, uh, but I want to finesse away, like trying to figure out a way to finesse to get into here because there's nothing going on. So this is literally like our only option here unless we just gonna go back to her, go back to the hotel. I'm getting tripped over my words, my bad. Um, so we're sitting there. We were out there in this little lobby part, y'all. I kid you not for like an hour and some change. Like we were out there for a while and Finally, we finessed the way to get in. Um, a guy and his wife was walking out, and he was like, y'all trying to get into the party? And then we was like, yeah. He was like, oh, here's my room key. And then um, we was like, why would you give us some, your room key? Like, how you going to get in? He was like, I could just go get another one from the hotel. Like, tell him I lost it or whatever. We was like, oh, yeah. Okay, so we go up in here. It's lit. It's so fun in here, y'all. Like, it's people everywhere. They party. We listen to music. It's um a bar by the pool. You can drink while you're in a pool. So I'm just, I'm having the time of my life. Yes, yes. Turn me up. Yes. We vibing. We chilling. We there. All of, like... 45 minutes it probably honestly was like 30 minutes like i was not there long enough to get because the the shots by now have worn off it's hot we probably gonna ate something before we uh, went up in there like i'm not tipsy no more i'm not lit i'm just you know i knew we was not there long enough for me to get lit again basically what i'm trying to say i don't know what happened before um the altercation happened like I don't know like what led up to it but basically Chad got into it with the manager of the resort and that led to the manager asking what room are you staying in like let me see your room key room key and he had a room key like remember that's how we got in but he lost it like he lost the key and then the guy was like um I don't believe you stay here because I think he was one of the people who was outside in the lobby while we was like trying to finesse away. So obviously he knew we not just going to be sitting out here in the lobby for like an hour trying to figure out how to get into a pool party. We stay at this resort and we have a key anyway. So he put two and two together and I think he was going to honestly let it slide because we not doing nothing. But he started arguing with him. So he was yelling at him. He was like, y'all got to get out. So Chad starts making a scene like he's like I'm about to call my lawyer got no lawyer to call y'all I seen him pick up the phone like you know when somebody pretending to be on the phone and then they move their phone like a certain way and then the um you see the home screen you was not on he wasn't on the phone with nobody y'all so he's like i'm gonna call my lawyer y'all are gonna get sued so me being the person that i am let me put this degree to use communications and conflict okay because this is very much a conflict i try to talk to the man and he's like y'all are fine like y'all as in the rest of us minus chad and rose he was like y'all are fine y'all can stay like i know y'all you know don't stay here but like it's it's okay like it's a pool party that's just what the hotel tell us we got to do but like it feels up to me like i don't care who comes to this pool party like it's not affecting my job type shit but he was like they have to go and they are banned from this property like forever so you know me I'm going to go get my ass back in this pool and get another drink. And I don't know why we left with them, y'all, but we did. Why did I do? Why did I not stay and have fun? I want to stay and have fun with my friends. I don't want to be walking around with Chad and his fake girlfriend who's not his real girlfriend. I don't want to be with them. I want to stay in the pool. and get... We left, y'all. We left. I don't know why we left. It's just... It... It was just very irritating because it's still hot, okay? I'm going to always come back to it's hot and I'm irritated. And also, I want to add that Chad and Rose were booed up so much. Like, I'm talking about they was like hand-in-hand -hand walking, like, you know, on a pool chair. Um, You can like lay the pool chair back a little bit. Um, he was like laying back and she was in between his legs and he was like hooked up on her. He was like whispering sweet nothings. I don't know what he was whispering in her ear, but he was whispering in her ear. He was like kissing her on her neck. Like it's giving heavy big PDA. And mind you, the one time that I did meet his girlfriend, it was no PDA in sight. Like they wasn't holding hands. They wasn't high fiving. They wasn't fist bumping. They wasn't doing none, none of that. None of that. So, um, they was booed up so much to the point where the man who kicked us out or kicked them out was like, him and his girlfriend gotta go. 
Like, you booed up so much. This man think that this is your girlfriend. Not your homie. Not a friend. Not somebody I just met. Like, your girlfriend. I was very, very, very bothered by that. Because I would not want that done to me. I, ah, uh, like, it's just, that is like, it's going to cause issues, like, within the group if you go and say something. Because... Like, mind your business. Like, I know it's wrong to say, but I just don't want to deal with, like, that drama. I as in Devin was saying, I don't want to deal with that drama. And I'm just like, <sighs> all of us know. All of us know this. All of us know he has a girlfriend. This is not new information. We know you have a girlfriend, and we know you been had a girlfriend. Like, y'all tell me what y'all would do. Honestly, like, I mean, that's my husband, so I'm going to listen to what he's saying and i'm not gonna do it but it was still eating me up inside because like you really got this wow okay cool so fast forward the next day um well was this yeah this was like the next night we actually left the hotel we didn't go to like no club or nothing we went to like another part of vegas and it was like um like some street performers it was like they had music it was like this i don't know what this part of vegas is called it's like you walk through this like tunnel looking thingy and it's like a whole bunch of like lights on the ceiling they got like more hotels down there we went into a different casino people was like outside performing like rapping singing dance battling like it was lit it wasn't no club but it was like something to do instead of just going down to the casino at our hotel every day or walking the same part of the strip so we did that and um we was this before we got the no i think we had the rental but i feel like everybody just wanted to like be drunk like black faced like blackout drunk like really drunk like too drunk to drive so we ubered down there and it was a big uber so everybody's like coming down we waiting for everybody we meet in front of the hotel waiting for the uber to pull up and it's just Brett that came downstairs so everybody's like oh where's chad do y'all know this man said oh yeah man um i had to give him and shorty some privacy so it's just gonna be me tonight i had to leave him in the room so what do you mean by that you you had to you had to leave him in the room to do what? And I'm pretty sure they went up there playing Uno or knocking down Legos. He was knocking down something, but it wasn't no Legos. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm finna say, because who I look at, Dem is like. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, not my business. It's not my business. It's none of my business. It's not. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. Not my business. Um, so yeah. So now that I know that he for sure cheated, is still currently cheating, um, it's taking everything in me not to pull up this girl Instagram and DM her. Like, it's really taking everything in me. Like, I cannot believe that. It was just, it's not even the fact that he was cheating. Yes, that's a problem. But it's the fact that you really sometimes, I won't say this about all my husband's friends because some of my husband's friends, I love them to death. Like, you cannot always trust your man friends because Brett was really like saying, he was like this, like locked in twin for life for lifer with Chad's girlfriend. Like, that's my sister. I love her. All of that. Oh, sorry, y'all. My camera cut off. Um... This is how you know this, this is going to be kind of a long story, my bad. But you saying this is your sister, you love her for life, all of this, and you literally know that your best friend is cheating on your sister. He's cheating on his girlfriend. You know this. You know that. You're not saying anything. You're not telling him, like, I like guys who hold their friends accountable. Like, if you know you have a good girl and... You know you shouldn't be cheating. I like when 
guys hold other guys accountable in the sense of tell him he don't need to be doing this i mean you can't force somebody to do something or not to do something given we all grown we make our own choices but don't enable it don't make it seem like it's okay like you left the room to give them privacy to do what they was gonna do and I know somebody gonna be in the comments like, oh honey, how do you know that Chad and his girlfriend were still together? We had just hung out with them before we left. And also, after we came back from the trip, they went out on a date. Like she posted them on a date like a day or two after we came back from the trip. They were very much still together. So don't even do that. They were very much still together and that was a very much still his girlfriend while we were in Vegas, okay? I don't like that. And I don't, I don't want, I don't want Devin to be friends with people who think that that's okay. Granted, so like a lot of us did not know Chad to the extent of how Brett knew him, but we all still know collectively this is wrong. And I'm just being told to mind my business, which I, I'm going to do, but just okay I'm sorry that was like a little rant but no like for real that bothered me a lot so we go to the little thing um and then that was that night so the next day we on the strip again y'all we on the strip with it again we was in Vegas for a while we on the strip again nothing's happening um we decide we're gonna go to a pizza restaurant I'm gonna put the video somewhere up here because why did me and Devin just decide randomly like oh we're gonna try edible for the first time a whole edible like a, a gummy edible we're gonna try edible for the first time y'all when I tell y'all that's probably one of the poorest choices I have ever made in my life the video that I put up in the screen I don't know when I'm gonna put it up this was like 10 minutes, 20 minutes before my edible kicked in. It hit me like a, somebody threw like a brick to my face, y'all. I literally, let me explain my symptoms, okay? So, um, I was sitting there, we were at this pizza place. And I feel like I was towards the end of like my meal. Like, it wasn't before I started eating. I Like, I had already eating like a big portion of my meal and I was just sitting there and then all of a sudden my eyes got like shaky and then my body got immediately like so so cold on the inside like to where I'm like doing like this like oh my gosh like and then after it was like cold for like 10 seconds it got immediately hot and it was like back and forth like 10 seconds cold 10 seconds hot 10 seconds cold 10 seconds hot and I'm like rocking like back and forth and I'm like rubbing my legs and my thighs like, oh my God. I'm just like, I think I'm high. I think this edible, cause I was like really like, man, this edible not finna do nothing. I'm like, I think I'm high. I think I'm high. I think I'm high. I'm high. I'm high right now. I'm high. So I go to the bathroom and I go look in the mirror and my eyes are so, so red, y'all. Like, I'm freaking out. This is why when I took the edible, I literally, like, said, I'm never going to do this again. That was a lie. I had to make sure I really didn't like it or if it was just that edible that I was giving or if it was just me. And it's me. Never again after this most recent time. But I went to the bathroom. My eyes were red. And I'm still, like, cold, hot, cold, hot. So... I text Devin and I'm like, we need to go. So he literally was like, y'all, when y'all get the bill, tell me how much our stuff was and I'm going to send you the money because Lauren is on one right now. Like she's tweaking. She's tripping real bad. So we in a, um, we in a restaurant at the hotel. So we just got to go back upstairs to our room. Um, so on the way there, I'm like, are you good? Like Devin, I'm paranoid when I get high. Devin was laughing his ass off like he was laughing so much to the point where I thought I was whispering and I was like Devin I'm so scared I think I'm gonna die like oh my gosh like I can't handle it like I felt like I had no control over what my body was doing and that's what was scaring me because I had never done that before so I'm literally googling like how to get THC out of your blood how to get THC out of your body quickly quickly 
So Google is telling me, you just got to let that shit ride out. I don't know what to tell you. You just got to let it do what it do. And then I read another thing and said, you need to take a cold shower and you need to sleep. So we got back to the room. I was like, let's take a shower. And then I'm going to set like a 60 minute um, alarm. We're going to go to sleep. And if we wake up, we good. So we take a shower together. I set the timer. Devin just thinking it's just so funny. I'm freaking out. I'm just like, God, please. Like, I'm, this is not how I want to go out. I don't want to go out like this. Like, I'm so sorry. I would never do this again. I lied. I lied. Because I did, in fact, do it again. But you know what? God knows my heart. Okay? And I repented. I repented. God knew I was lying. I'm so sorry. After that second time I did it, I never did it again. Because I, I don't like it. Just hand me the tequila. Y'all can keep the edibles. Y'all can keep the weed. Hand me the alcohol and we good. So, y'all, I kid y'all not. When I laid down and closed my eyes when I got in that bed, I literally saw every single cartoon I had ever seen in my life all at once. My head, my head was on this side of the room. And I was laying on this side. Like, it was so, so bad. Like, the room was spinning. Like, everything was spinning. When I closed my eyes, the room was spinning. When I opened my eyes, the room was spinning. Like, it was so bad. I was crying. I was so scared that I was going to die. Like, when I closed my eyes, I was seeing Courage the Cowardly Dog. I was seeing the Teletubbies. I was seeing Rugrats. I was seeing, um... What's that? I was seeing Cyber Chase. I was seeing every single cartoon from when I was a small child up into like the latest cartoons that's out right now. Like I was seeing every y'all, I was so scared. I woke up to the timer, turned the alarm off, and I was still high but not as high. And I should like shook Devin, like, are you okay? Are you okay? And he's like, Yeah, I'm fine. We did not go out that night. Safe to say, we did not go out that night. We slept it off. We woke up in the morning. I woke up and I was just like, I'm never doing that ever again. Like, I don't care if sometimes when I get too drunk, I have a hangover. Hand me the Advil and go give me a Gatorade and I'm going to be good. I would rather take the hangover than taking that type of trip ever again in my life. Like, for real, y'all. It was so, so bad. So, okay, I really just feel like my camera is not messing with me today. So, what was I saying? Um, I really forgot, y'all, what I was just saying. But, yeah, basically, um, I'm never doing that again. I don't like being high um, and then oh I was saying I don't need my laptop no more because I remember um, what happened after that so that was like um, like I think like the day before the last day that we were there and we were leaving soon so this next day Rose is gone um, I don't see her anymore thank God but Chad finesse these other girls um into letting us go to their resort pool because they were staying in a hotel where it was like low-key like a water park too and it had like a wave pool and it had like a really big pool and then like some other smaller pools um it was cool they had like a lazy river it was really cool he finessed them into um us going in there and um what is all of this stuff on the side of my camera oh my gosh I don't even know. I have anxiety. Anyways, so this is yet another girl, okay? Still has a girlfriend. So we go up in this pool, and I didn't know that he finessed these girls into, um, like, letting us in or whatever, because I don't need you to do this. Like, don't don't use your cheating powers to get me into. Like, I was cool with where we were staying, but we go up in there, and I'm just disgusted with him at this point, like, this is my first time seeing him. Um, no, it's not. I was going to say this is my first time seeing him after he was hunching on Rose, but it was not. But still, like, I don't know if he knew that I knew, which I'm sure you knew that everybody knew. You just didn't care, but it's just like I'm disgusted. And he's all up in the pool. Like, he hugged up with this girl. Like, they like, you know, like when you hugged up with your boo in the pool and y'all moving like all around the pool it was like this and she like got his hand her hands around his neck like this and they just laughing I'm just like this is disgusting bro 
Like, you really doing this in front of all of these people. Like, you really just don't care. That's so sad. So, I'm just disgusted. Me and Devin walked to another pool, and they had, like, a bar by the pool. So, we just chilling in that pool. And I'm just like, I'm ready to go back to the room. Um, let's go to the casino or something. Like, I'm just, I don't want to be around this for real. So, we walk back to our resort. We go to the casino, and I just want to say that um, I won, like, $500 at the casino when I went. So... Yeah, I'm really like that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Because if I was really like that, I would have won that billion dollar um jackpot with the Mega Millions. But whatever, I guess. Dude, shout out to you. But anyways, so yeah, after that, we checked out like the next day, like early that morning. And we took our rental back and we went to the airport and we went home. And, um, I don't know if his girlfriend ever found out. I never said anything to her. Um, I never told her anything. I wanted to multiple times, but, again, my husband said don't. And I'm a submissive wife, so if he said don't do it, I'm not gonna do it. And, um, yeah, so, that was the crazy Vegas trip, y'all. I feel like the highlight of that was the, uh, the edible like I don't know if any of y'all who um watch my video subscribe here if y'all smoke tell me if like was that just was it me or was it the edible because um I tried edibles again after that like a year later and I was still tripping it was still like I still had like the hot and cold and like the like I don't know why I just get to doing one of these like rocking back and forth like I don't know is it just me I would never smoke weed I won't do that um but I just I just feel like getting high it's just not for me like some people I know like they don't like drinking and they like just smoking and taking edibles and all of that stuff with the oil and like hey do what you do and I'm don't don't do drugs say no to drugs kids say no to drugs YouTube look I'm not encouraging anybody to do drugs please don't do drugs don't do it that was just a poor adult choice of mine adult okay I'm saying adult like that make it legal like don't do it don't do it but I'm just saying like it's just it's just not for me um yeah, I think that was it. That was just, it was crazy, y'all. And I just, I never wanted to be around Chad again after that. Um, he lucky I didn't tell his girlfriend. He's very lucky because I had pictures of them and everything. I had witnesses. Like, I was ready. I was ready with my receipts. I was ready. Yeah, I, I, I honestly think they still together too. I don't know because I, I don't talk to any of them anymore. But last time we were um, cordial or whatever you want to call it because that was never my friend. Um, yeah. And also, um, he had some fake shoes on in Vegas. And I'm just like, you really out here with fake shoes on. Shop with 407 kicks. You would never have that problem. But anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Um, if you made it to the end of the video. Leave me a. Leave me a yellow heart emoji. Because a lot of y'all be watching my videos. And I appreciate that. But y'all don't be watching the whole videos. Like some of y'all really do like long videos and I love that but a lot of y'all don't and I just be well, this is a story time channel and my stories I can't tell them in like under like 25 minutes maybe I'm forcing it on this one because I had a lot of receipts to give y'all and I had notes but I don't know maybe if you don't like long stories maybe this particularly is not the channel for you because I don't want to shorten them just just for people to you know like I like long stories that's just me like when I'm eating when I'm in a shower I like long story times I like I like to feel like I'm watching an episode on the show you know so whatever 
um before you click off this video make sure you i didn't even tell y'all to do that in the beginning i'm tripping like the video okay subscribe to the channel okay leave me a comment turn on your post bell notifications and i will see y'all in my next story time bye i love y'all